There's even bigger news this week, believe it or not. It has to do with a longtime fan favorite, Mr. Cobra Tate. Yes, Mr. Cobra Tate was apprehended in... In Bucharest. In Bucharest at his uh, big compound. The uh, news stories are a little bit uh, <laughs> lacking at the moment, and they are, in, to the extent that they exist, they're being published by a Romanian publication called Media Flux, which is uh, not English. There, are, I have seen some YouTube videos of them talking about this, about him being apprehended and the guy interviewing, and it's all, you know, like it's a, a thing over there, uh, apparently, but it's all uh, incomprehensible <clears throat> because I don't speak the language. But he was apprehended by the police. I guess I should take a step back. Andrew yeah. Tate, it, also known as Cobra Tate, uh, we talked about him really on a prior episode. Exclusively known as Cobra Tate, basically. He is the top of a kind of manosphere, self-help, drop shipping, kind of grifty, <laughs> make money on the internet world. Well, and prior to that, he's an MMA guy. He was a kickboxer, yes. Kickboxing guy. Uh, he was a kickboxer. He was also on the British version of Big Brother, which probably was the first version of it. And uh, he was kicked off of that at some point. But um, Just an idiot. A he's, fucking idiot. Idiot. Yeah, he's all you can see him. He does like podcasts yeah. and he tweets a lot and he's on Instagram a lot. And it's all just like it's the same thing. And there's a whole crew of people that basically have formed up around him mm -hmm. that and that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. But I follow all these people Cobra on Twitter. Tate extended universe. Exactly. And, you know, it just it's posting a lot of kind of like flashy things like here's a flashy car. Here's a flashy mm -hmm. watch. Some videos of like, oh, I bought a $15,000 watch today. Pictures in the club, beautiful ladies. And mm -hmm. then also videos just like one minute videos of him just spouting off about some random thing. Like he did <laughs> one about like the Will Smith and yep. thing and like just all over. And like mostly that all kind of tends towards kind of uh, manosphere type, uh, mm -hmm. misogynistic type analyses and whatever. And then he sells all these clearly like bullshit products. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, like the Hustlers University oh, and God, yeah. the PhD in getting women and <laughs> stuff like that to like losers online who's mm -hmm. like, look, if you follow my program and then like everything like he's in it, I'll teach you how to drop ship. I'll teach you how to do crypto. <laughs> I'll teach you how to get ladies. I'll teach you how to get dressed. You just need to pay me, you know, a thousand dollars to get the course. And the course is just like some fucking like, like PowerPoints PowerPoint. and shit. And if you pay, you know, uh, a five thousand dollars a year you can be in my war room which is like a chat room one time we actually tried to get in the war room <laughs> and and immediately he was like discounting the price like when I, we were like you know trying to talk to him about it mm -hmm. and like so you know like the whole thing's clearly goofy but as part of all of this stuff he also let on occasionally though it was a little bit weird because he, he wasn't so much selling how to's on this exactly but as part of like the braggadocia, yeah. he would let on and they would shoot videos sometimes that one the way he made money was by pimping OnlyFans girls, which is, of course, yeah. just another, you know, it's a little unclear. He never was like totally explicit in this. But you look at this and you think, so we're talking, that's called kidnapping. That's called yeah, it, uh, it wasn't, sex trafficking. Yeah, um, he, he was in Eastern Europe and... Yeah, he would go off to Eastern Europe and he would, he would uh, women from the area, and then they would show that they had converted their garage into various, like, OnlyFans studios. Yeah. And then, you know, he would kind of say, like, oh, I'm teaching them, like, how to do all of this, and, like, that's why I take a cut. But, of course, you're like, I don't know. It sounds fishy and coercive yeah. and whatever. The actual grift... The actual thing that he would do on OnlyFans, I don't know if you've ever heard this. Have you ever actually heard like what his game was? No, no, no. Okay, I, so I'm, I'm not as initiated as you are. Oh, I'm I'm full blown into I this know. shit. Yeah. And so it was, you know, and this has been, you know, people snoop. There's a whole uh, subreddit actually that follows him and other things, and these are people who like think this shit's silly. It's called Gamma Secret Kings. Okay. Um, and you can get lots of great shit there, but. Um, what he does is he, <laughs> and again, this was reported in the Daily Mirror, uh, not too long ago. I assume it's accurate. Who knows? You can go kind of double check some of this, but he initially he was running cam sites and then that became only fans. It's unsure. Does he still do cam other cam sites? I don't know. Right. But he gets these. Eastern European women who he probably it, does coercive pimp style shit to, like illegal shit. And, you know, he 
gets them doing online sex work, I guess you would say. And the way that he gets them, you know, gets money, of course, he takes a big cut of the amount that they receive. But how does he get a lot of money in the door? Yeah. Right? Like, well, he just has what he just has, like, real big time OnlyFans, the kind, the ones that make, like, 100 grand a month. Yeah. Not so much that. What he does is he gets the clients, the Johns or whatever, the men who watch all of this, he trains the women, or in some cases he has some other person who's not the woman because they don't necessarily speak English, uh-huh. right? Sitting there and typing, you know, because you kind of type back and forth on the yeah. camera stuff, and they would, they would, he would feed them like sob stories uh-huh. about why they need a bunch of money. That would be stuff like, oh, my mom is dying and she needs private insurance. It was mostly oh, wow. focused at you people uh-huh. and whatever, right? So it would be all this shit. And he, it would just lie and lie and lie and lie. So these men, you know, they're already kind of sucked into it. And mm-hmm. y- y- these parasocial relationships exist. And apparently that's a big part of how you make money on this stuff. It's not just like people pay some subscription fee and then there's like a passive money comes in and they just want to see your pics and videos. They're also trying to talk to you all the time, apparently. Yeah. And so you'd get those things going and then you'd you'd lie to them about how you needed money and then they would get sucked into that and people would give big sums of money to like, you know, help someone whose aunt is dying or whatever. Yeah. Th- that's the game. That really sucks so bad. Yeah, so it's like a combination of like trafficking and then fraud. mass yeah fraud on the payor side and then insane exploitative like cuts yeah on your side and that's like how and that seems to be the money like you kind of you know he'd let on little pieces of that and then you would see these other analyses and reporting that would suggest this yeah. is actually what's going on and it kind of all made sense cuz right you know how do you make sense of all this money and all this stuff that he's buying and all this you know it looks like you know so that's what it was Anyways, to the arrest. Apparently, and this again is reported from, this was reported from Media Flux, a, a, f- <laughs> a 15-year-old runaway American citizen that was your first mistake. was somehow part of this process. It's unclear exactly how that uh, went down, but you know, it would sound like something like, for whatever reason, this person's online and she's chatting with yeah. Cobra Tate and he convinces her to come over and, you know, she tells her mom, oh, I'm just going to go to my friend's house or something like that. But nonetheless, yeah. you know, goes across. And then when she's there, you know, at that point, you know, take the passport, whatever. You don't get any details, but some con- something akin to kidnapping has occurred where she can't leave or at least that's so what's suspected. So what almost certainly happened here was like he did this to an American, something he's probably been doing to Eastern Europeans for you know, yeah. tons and tons of them. He did this to an American, by the way, was 15. She's now 21. This is, again, according to the reporting. Yeah. I'm not going to use the name, but. <laughs> and what presumably happened was her parents at some point calls the Fed, call the feds. Right. And, and it's like, like, uh, yeah, no, our daughter, as far as we know, is like missing. And it seems like for a while they're missing and nobody knew where she was. But apparently eventually it gets pieced together. Oh, she's over here <laughs> with Cobra Tate. And then, you know, <laughs> with Cobra Tate, as much as he and he claims he does this. And I don't know. I believe him, I guess, as much as you can pay off and corrupt, you know, Romanian officials, if you know, this, the fucking CIA comes calling <laughs> or the FBI yeah. or whoever, the U.S. Embassy, because in the reporting they were saying this was happening because of the U.S. Embassy. Yeah. The U.S. Embassy contacts the Romanian government and yeah. says, yeah, no, no, like, let's, let, you know, you guys play around as much as you want, but game over now. They got, he's got an American in there. And off he goes Mm -hmm. and they storm the compound. They're like wearing masks and have guns. They're worried about him because he's always posing with guns and shit. And, you know, perp walk him out of there with his brother, Tristan, now in ostensibly some kind of Romanian uh, prison or jail waiting, you know, what comes next. Yeah, that is a fucking crazy way for this to wind up. So, you know, I mean, look. We, you know, you can, you can watch Netflix, you can, but this is my Netflix. Yeah. This is my Netflix. This is what I do. I watch this <laughs> unfold on social media. So yeah, there's your Cobra Tate update. 
that that whole universe has really kind of undergone a uh, bust recently. There was the Ivan Throne fan guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Who who went wild? Yeah, he killed. Did he kill people? Something like that. He did. Yeah. And yeah. a girl he had written about intending to murder. He went yeah, ahead and murdered her. It's fucking horrible. Fucking awful and had been praised by mr throne they do all this shit out in the open i mean <laughs> right and it's wild you just watch them on social media and of course you sit there and you're like if these things are true like this person should be in jail like it's, it's all just like fraud at the very least fraud and probably even worse than that and then like nothing happens you're like i don't know is this fake is uh, what's <laughs> going on and then yeah. Uh, eventually uh, things trickle out and you're like, no, it was it was really real. <sighs> and I mean the Tates, I mean, one, why would you ever do it to an American? That's your the whole game. And I mean they'll yeah, basically that... tell you is they're like, look, we can go over here, the state capacity is really low, it's corrupt, and like people are super desperate. And it's like, okay, yeah, well that's that does not describe America. This is I mean, you know, <laughs> The funny thing about Mr. Tate and his money-making uh, methods is that he always seemed to be, in the final analysis, looking out for a way that he could make a ton of money by laying around and doing nothing mm -hmm. while worked and and brought in money, which seems to be the kind of least macho and most I'm a little baby and my mommy takes care of me no, well, style you're, of existing. You're right. on some. Le that's one way to look at it. But what he's trying to be is like a gangster. I know, but that that is in essence what a gangster is. Is it not? It's like, but in the popular culture, the gangster is not uh, the same thing as the you know forty uh, year old son who lives with the mom or like a feet uh, trust fund uh, person. There, yeah, but it's like, aren't you supposed to be a man of the manosphere? Can't you break outside what the mass media is pumping into you all day every day? True. True. Objectively, it's weird. And, you yeah, know, the fact that you're still just playing into Hollywood tropes. Like, and I mean, yeah, really was because up. like, why are you even online at all? Seriously. Like he he's he can't get enough of like the public attention and shit. It's really pathetic. It's it's like I live for the attention of people, which is lame as shit mm -hmm. and babyish. And also the only way that I can exist in the world is to bully and coerce women into working hard to put food into my mouth because I'm a worthless little piece of shit. And it's amazing how many guys who take that approach to getting by come to the conclusion that, you know, <coughs> bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Yeah, no, the because everything that they're trying to sell is like that as well. And, yeah. it, and it's funny because you could see these men potentially go one of two ways. You could either go the make money fast online by uh, eBay and Amazon arbitrage, yeah. drop shipping, crypto, whatever. Right. Which, as you point out, is uh, seemingly like not quite so masculine as much as they want to play off like we're titans of industry and, we're, you know, we have the cigar. We're like that kind of guy, the money finance guy. Or if you were in that same kind of vulnerable position, you could also just get sucked into uh, building trades machismo. Yeah, that's a yeah. whole other game. And that one, as you point out, that one's like legit on some level because you have to actually go and like construct buildings and stuff at least you're doing something <laughs> like you have to know something cool and it's like hard work that you you know put your back into i don't know like it's just much better than being like now say that you're crying because <laughs> like your aunt is sick <laughs> it's like you're such a lame fuck does this strike you as like a man's work do you feel like you've done a man's job today like, no, you're you're fucking letting a lady go out there and make money and take care of you. You're a pathetic excuse for a dude. It do be like that. It do be like that. Anyway, glad he has been apprehended. Hope he does some hard time. He sucks. Uh, ripped to a lol cow. A true lol cow. I mean, he is leg it's legit entertaining. I don't mean to say it's good. It's not good. But it is legit entertaining.